Hi, this is the, thir this is the third and the last homework help video on constant acceleration motion. So this is the question we are looking at. A car moving at some speed initially and comes to a sudden accelerating at a given rate. This is what some people might call negative acceleration. And like with other homework questions so far, there's a hint. And there's an example in the textbook that is a very close match to this question. So in section 2.5, if you scroll down to almost the end, is where the example calculating displacement, how far does a car go when coming to a halt? And it's the exact question. And this can be a difficult question. It uses something called the V-squared uh, formula. It's one of the kinematics equations. And um, I'd say for this homework question, um, use this formula to do it. <laughs> um, you are given the initial velocity v naught, your final velocity v is zero, and the acceleration you are given that uh, you should uh, use a negative version of the number, and that indicates that your acceleration is in the opposite direction to the displacement and you would be solving for the displacement, x minus x naught. The example actually does work through that, so you can follow that, and this is the formula where you plug in the numbers. <laughs> so, uh, I want you to use the remainder of this video showing you simulation of this situation, because, so you can, um, so you can use the results here, all the equations, formulas are here, but what I'm most concerned with is if uh, this um, if this scenario makes physically intuitive sense. So let's look at some simulation. All right. So in this simulation, I created this one kilogram block. It will move frictionlessly along this surface. So let me give it a little bit of an initial velocity. Let's say nine meters per second. And if I just let it go, then it'll just uh, <laughs> move at a constant speed. So I need to attach a thruster here so that something will push it back. So one kilogram block, so I'll need to apply uh, 10 Newton of force to produce acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. That's uh, next week's material. For now, trust me that this will produce a 10 meter per second squared acceleration. So now, when I let the simulation run, all right. So this is a slightly different from what's given in the question because it's not just coming to a stop. After eventually coming to a stop, it'll accelerate the other way. It's like a, um, it's like a, a rocket car <laughs> applying reverse thrusters or something. So let me uh, build a parallel version of this so that we can compare them uh, and we can see that at least up to the moment it comes to a stop, there's uh, no distinction between them. All right, so the second floor setup has been set up. So it's the same block, uh, one kilogram block. And what's different with this block is it has a friction coefficient of one. Uh, that's also <laughs> next to week's material. So what you have to know about this block is that it now has friction with the ground under it and the frictional force will produce an acceleration of 10 meter per second squared. Now, when you let this simulation run, this is what you see. So with the reverse thruster, once the block comes to a stop, then the acceleration continues, eventually speeding up the block in the other direction. With the friction, once the block comes to a stop, then it remains at a stop. So what the question is describing is more like the upstairs version, but the both version is acceptable for uh, what we are looking at here. So this is what I want you to highlight. This is the starting point for both blocks. And this is how far it travels before coming to a stop. And let me display the velocity information so that you can see intuitive picture of this. So when we let the simulation run, over time, velocity decreases to zero. 
And what the question is asking for is this distance here, from the starting point to the ending point. And the v squared formula that you see in the example relates this distance to the acceleration without needing to refer directly to the amount of time it takes to go from here to here. So I hope that makes sense. If there are any questions, please ask me. Until next time, bye.